Schrodinger's cat is a famous thought experiment that illustrates how, under certain interpretations of quantum mechanics, a hypothetical cat in a sealed box could be both alive and dead at the same time, until someone observes its state. Erwin Schrodinger, an Austrian theoretical physicist, was a key figure in the early development of quantum mechanics. He's also credited with coining the term quantum entanglement in 1935, the same year our story begins. That year, renowned scientists Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen co-authored a paper titled, Can Quantum Mechanical Description of Physical Reality Be Considered Complete? This work, now known as the EPR paper, argued that despite its experimental success, quantum mechanics didn't provide a complete description of physical reality. The EPR paper challenged the idea of quantum superposition, a foundational concept in quantum theory. Superposition suggests that a quantum system can exist in multiple possible states simultaneously until it's observed or measured. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. Until it lands, it's not just heads or tails, it's both at once. Similarly, a subatomic particle could be in two places at once or have both an up and down spin until a measurement forces it into one state. This introduces the fascinating idea of objects existing in seemingly contradictory states. The EPR paper also discussed how superposition leads to entanglement, where two particles remain connected and can share information instantly, even when far apart. Because of this spooky action at a distance, the paper argued that quantum mechanics might be incomplete. Schrodinger found this idea compelling and exchanged letters with Einstein. In their conversations, Einstein raised a striking concern. If quantum mechanics truly described reality fully, then even everyday objects, like a keg of gunpowder, could exist in a superposition. In other words, the keg could be both exploded and unexploded at the same time. That seemed hard to accept. To highlight this paradox, Schrodinger proposed his famous thought experiment. He imagined placing a cat inside a sealed steel box along with a device that contained a small amount of radioactive material and a Geiger counter. Over the course of one hour, there was a 50% chance that a single atom would decay. If it did, the Geiger counter would detect it, triggering a hammer to break a vial of poison, killing the cat. If no atom decayed, the cat would remain unharmed. This became known as Schrodinger's cat. At the time, the Copenhagen interpretation was the dominant view in quantum mechanics. According to this interpretation, the radioactive atom exists in a superposition, both decayed and not decayed, until someone observes it. Since the cat's fate is linked to the decay, it follows that the cat is also in a superposition, both alive and dead, until observed. But it's important to understand, Schrodinger didn't actually believe this described physical reality. His goal was to show how the logic of quantum mechanics breaks down when applied to everyday objects. He argued that the fuzzy probabilistic rules of quantum particles don't scale neatly to larger systems like a cat. Einstein appreciated this. He saw it as a powerful way to show the disconnect between quantum principles and the classical world we live in. And while the image of a cat that is both alive and dead may seem strange, the thought experiment has captured imaginations for decades. In fact, if you search online for the most famous thought experiments of all time, Schrodinger's cat is usually near the top of the list. This deceptively simple idea continues to inspire debate, reinterpretation, and exploration, helping shape how we think about the nature of reality itself. We've created dedicated videos on other quantum topics like tunneling, quantum computing, and entanglement. You'll find links to those in the description box below.